Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Christopher Vega Hernandez. Hernandez was shot and killed on Thursday, June 5, 2014 in the 4300 block of West Sunset Boulevard in East Hollywood, according to LA County Coroner Records. Oscar Melara and Gustavo Luna were subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. On June 5, 2014, victim Hernandez, a Rebels 13 gang member, and his parents attended his sister's middle school graduation. Just before 11 a.m., the family was walking to a bus stop when defendant Luna, a La Mirada Locos gang member, shot the victim multiple times. The victim died of multiple gunshot wounds. Shortly before the shooting, the victim chased defendant Melara, who was riding a bicycle. Defendant Melara pushed the victim. Defendant Melara and the victim made signs symbolizing their respective gangs. The victim removed his shirt, revealing a Rebels 13 gang tattoo. The victim asked defendant Melara to fight one-on-one. -on -one. A few minutes before defendant Luna shot the victim, defendant Melara called defendant Luna. Evidence from cell phone records indicated that defendant Melara called defendant Luna twice. The records did not reveal whether the two spoke or the content of their conversation. Immediately before defendant Luna shot the victim, he drove up to defendant Melara and stopped to talk to him. Defendant Luna then drove up to the victim who was standing on the sidewalk. Luna shot the victim and drove away. Cell phone records suggest that defendant Melara entered defendant Luna's car shortly after the shooting because defendant Luna's phone and the phone defendant Melara was using traveled on the same path at the same speed to Oceanside, California. Video surveillance of the crime scene showed the victim and his family walking near a Del Taco restaurant on Sunset Boulevard. It further showed the victim chasing defendant Melara, who was riding a bicycle. The victim then returned to his family and they continued walking together. Surveillance video depicts the following sequence of events. Defendant Melara is holding a phone to his head while riding his bicycle. Shortly afterwards, a black car enters the Del Taco parking lot. Defendant Melara approaches the black car and then points towards the victim twice. The black car pulls up to the victim and his family. The driver shoots the victim. It appears that Defendant Melara is present when the driver shoots the victim. The victim falls backwards to the ground. Officer Mark Austin testified for the prosecution. Officer Austin opined that Defendant Luna was a member of La Mirada Locos. Austin believed that Luna was a low-level member of La Mirada Locos. Austin opined that Defendant Melara was a mid-level member of La Mirada Locos. Police identified Defendant Melara as a La Mirada Locos gang member on field ID cards, and Defendant Melara admitted to officers that he had been arrested for gang-related crimes. La Mirada Locos shared a border with Rebels 13. Officer Austin noted that the victim had a large tattoo stating Rebels on his chest. Following the trial, Defendant Luna was convicted of first-degree murder, including gun and gang enhancements. The court sentenced him to prison for 50 years to life. The jury convicted Defendant Melara of second-degree murder, including gun and gang enhancements. Melara was sentenced to prison for 40 years to life. Christopher Vega Hernandez was 19 years old at the time of death. 